How's it going everyone and welcome back to the FIFA 19 Pro Clubs video. Today, I'm bringing you guys my updated best striker build to use on FIFA 19 Pro Clubs. In the beginning of FIFA 19, I did put a video out explaining what was the best striker build. That video was only made with 55 games played and I did explain at the end of the video that I will bring you guys an updated best striker build once I have played more games and my overall is higher. Now, before we jump into this video, I just want to let you guys know, thank you guys so much for the massive support on the channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you guys are continually uh, showing continuous support and you guys is uh, smashing that like button on all the videos that we are making of course if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more pro clubs content in the future and also if you enjoyed this video or you find it helpful make sure you guys smash that thumbs up now i like i like i was saying as you guys can see on the screen i have 491 games which is a lot more than 55 games played and i'm also 92 overall which is the max overall you can be on fifa 19 pro clubs now the build i'm using is a six foot 149 pounds and for you guys to really understand how the xp system work or how to rank up your player fast or if you guys are asking how many games did it take me to level up uh, to get the max overall it took me 455 games but it could take you 450 uh, it, it could take you 400 games or even could take you 500 or even more than that or even less than that it all depends on how uh, you perform in game. So if you guys uh, want to check out the, my previous video, how to rank up fast video, it's very important for you two guys to understand how the XP system works to really understand how many games it will take you to reach the max overall. Now, that video will be in the description for you guys, but let's jump in into this. Now, this build right here, 6'149 pounds, is the same build I use on FIFA 18. It was very overpowered. Um, and again, forward is the obvious striker. You don't have the option to switch on that. I believe in FIFA 17, you have the options, but you don't have any more. Uh, if you play career mode, you do. But 6'149 pounds, your body type doesn't really matter. It doesn't give you an attribute gain going lean or uh, average. Um, and that just gives you everything. Now, as you can see, as you can see on the screen, this is what my traits play, uh, what my traits use, my skill points use. Um, so, of course, I have a lot more uh, in terms of games. So, if you play more games, uh, you, of course, your player will be a high overall. And if you guys really need to understand, one thing I really need you guys to understand is you need to play enough games to be able to have a, a more dominant player. So, if you don't have the same exact number of games as me, your player might not will not have the same overall as me. Or if you don't have the same, even if if you have the same games as me but you don't have the same match rating as me you might not have the same uh match uh, overall as me because of the fact that you uh the new video that i put out like how to rank up video explains a lot of things that i really highly suggest you guys check out because it's very very important but let's jump in into the traits and i'm going to give you guys some tips um to use for this build so six foot 149 pounds is obvious now also on that video that I put out, how to rank up fast, I did explain what your primary skills. And that is important because as a striker, as you guys can see on the screen, you have a lot of them. Um, and it's the same thing for all the positions. You have a lot of uh, primary attribute. And that's what you should be using your skill points on. Now, of course, skill points, you only earn them in league and cup games. But you do earn XP in drop-ins and in league and cup games. XP is important because that's how you level up. Now, jumping into the traits, um, as a striker at 6 foot, I will use the strength. Then you go over to dribbling. I would use everything. If you do not use skill skill moves, don't use them. If you don't use flare trade, if you're not going to do the fancy passes or you're not going to do bicycle kick, which is all you need to do is hold L2 to do bicycle kick. Um, they did patch that a little bit, which sucks, but you can still do them. Passing, uh, short pass is another one of your primary. We use that. And then I also use curve because my curve is not that high. If I was to take this off, it's only 78. If I was to put it on, it's 82. Curve is very important when you're doing finesse shot, when you're doing uh, free kicks. It's very important on that stuff. So it's very important to use that. Shooting, of course, all of these are important. Because I'm six foot, finishing is very important. I'm still not maxed out at that, so I'm going to keep playing and keep uh, keeping getting that up. I'm pretty sure I maxed out at 97, over, uh, 97 with my skill points added. So I still have two more to go, so I'm going to keep grinding that and getting that up shot power i think 97 is actually the max that could be so make sure you put that as well weak foot is very important so make sure you put your weak foot all, all the way up so make sure you put your weak five, five star because even with five star you will be be missing some chances it sucks i know fifa 19 has a lot of shot error so you make sure you put your weak foot all the way up if you use three starts uh, weak foot you're gonna miss a lot even four even five you will miss so put it at the max if you're if you're anything above six foot use your power your heading because it's important. Anything above 85 will be fine. Actually, like I actually don't need to, but because I play six foot and I'm actually a lot of the times as a striker, I will be in the box. I use this because I want my shots that, especially a header, I want those shots to go on target. Now, if you don't use skill moves or a uh, flare trait, you could put the power header on. It's really not useful um, because just having the accuracy on and the mechanics in the game of FIFA 19, just put in enough power, tap in the circle button, you will have actually enough power. Uh, you will generate enough power to be able to score those, so you don't need power header. And then penalties, 
put them all the way up not all the way up but put enough and enough, enough to be able to score them of course more uh the more you have on your penalty the higher your attribute the bigger the green uh on your penalty kicks are so it's a lot easier for you to score of course your pace put all the way up that's just important now of course there's a couple of things that i would highly suggest you guys to really understand with builds when it comes to builds now this build might not work for you because you might prefer to play shorter. So if you do prefer to play shorter, I highly suggest you guys maybe try a 5'10", maybe a 5'9". But if you're going to play with those builds, make sure you use different traits. Such as, if you're going to play with the 5'8 build, there's no point of you using strength, uh, skill, you're wasting your skill points on strength because you're going to be weak no matter what. There's no uh, point of you putting headers on because you're 5'8". You're not going to win a lot of headers. Most of the time, you won't win anything at all. So don't use that. Use it towards something else. That's just my tips I would give you guys. And also, for you to level up fast, guys, you just need to play a lot of games. Get a good match rating. Um, actually, remember that drop-ins do give you XP. They don't give you skill points. Skill points are very important, so make sure you guys play league games. Uh, I would highly suggest you guys to play club matches. Don't play drop-ins. It really is not as effective, but if you don't have any friends to really play with at the time, then go ahead and play drop-ins. But just make sure you get a good match rating because that's really, really important. But again, guys, 6 foot 149 pounds with those traits I give you guys are very, very overpowered. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, don't make sure to smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Pro Clubs content in the future, and I will catch you guys on the next video.